In this video, I want to show you how to do import from one course to the, another course. So this is very uh, common to use at the beginning of a semester to get last semester's course to bring it in. So I have here a sample course. And the thing to remember is import is always additive. It's always adding content to your course. Unlike restore of a backup, we don't have the option of uh, deleting the stuff that's there first uh, and then bringing content in. It's only bringing content in. So I'm going to bring content from another course. This is a, another dev course that I have. And I actually want to bring in... Uh, this book tool called ShopBot Control Software that has a lot of content within it. So if I open it, uh, it has a bunch of stuff in this. And so I want to bring that into this sample course. So here's my sample course. I'm going to start under More to Course Reuse. Once that comes up, I'm going to go to Import. That's the default. And I'm going to go down here and find a course. I've got this uh, development course that I'm going to use. And hit continue. And I can pick some of the pieces in here. Like uh, I don't want to include groups or groupings or anything like that. And if you're not bringing in a quiz, it won't include question banks. But often I don't want that so that I don't fill my class with questions from the course I'm bringing in. Just like with restore and backup, I can at this point pick jump to final step and it would bring everything over from that development course to this one. But I'm going to just custom pick uh, one thing. So I'm going to go to the next button. And so here's all the content that's in this course. So here at the top, I'm going to say none. And I'm going to scroll down to the first section. I'm going to pick the first section and I'm going to pick that book with that content in it. So that's the only thing in the course. I have to pick this top piece or the section topic uh, or it won't bring anything in from that section. But it's only going to bring this one item in. And then I'm going to hit next and scroll down again and perform import. Now that that's complete, I'm going to hit continue. And so here's the course that I had. And notice it was in the course that I brought content in from, it was in topic, in the second topic down here, the second group, uh, this being topic zero, this being the first topic or the second group of it. And here's that control software with everything intact, uh, all the content now moved uh, into this course. Again, you can do the same thing and bring everything from another course, or you can just select one item. If you do bring everything in from another course, be aware that you will end up with two announcements forums. Make sure you delete one of those. Uh, you do not need to have two of those in your course.